So last week I received a question in regards to using effects in Premiere. And it's true, you can use certain effects in Premiere to enhance or change your videos. It's not as robust as, let's say, After Effects, but if you want to do some simple stuff, some simple tweaks here and there, Premiere certainly allows you to do that. And so this will be a broad overview of how to use video effects. There might be some effects in this um, folder that we could look at in more detail as we uh, progress with the Premiere tutorials. But right now, it's more of a broad overview. So what I have here is just a project file open. And you can see I have video on my player here. And let's say I wanted to add an effect. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of effect yet, but let's say I want to add something to this shot. As you can see, I have certain um, clips here that are split up. So I have, for instance, the gunshot, then it cuts to the running shot and so on. But I could come over here to the effects tab on the left, and you'll see that there is an effects folder or a video effects folder. And underneath here, you have all sorts of different folders that basically hold different effects. So for instance, let's say I wanted to add a blur effect to this particular shot. Well, I could go under blur and sharpen. There are a bunch of different blur effects here to choose from. So we could just choose one and go with it and see what it does. So I can take this one. Now in order to apply an effect, you can drag it over to the clip that you want to put it on. Or if you want to, you could click on your clip and then double click to add it. But once you have put in your effect, the next step is to adjust the controls. And you'll find that up here in the effects controls tab or effect controls tab, I should say. And as you can see, I have that blur applied to both clips as I page through. If I click here, it's there. If I click here, it's there. If I click on that one, it's not. So again, dragging or double clicking will add it to the clip. Now, different effects will have different controls. In this case, for this blur effect, we have blurriness, we have blur dimensions, and we have a repeat edges option. And so it's all a matter from here of just adjusting it to your specifications. So I could um, come in here and you know, increase the blurriness. And as you can see, it's definitely increasing the blurriness on my preview window here. We could adjust if it's horizontal only, only vertical, or both. And we can choose to repeat edges, which you can see in this case, we have kind of a dark shadow going around the image because it's basically running on an image to show um, because we're blurring it. Um, and if you click that, it'll just repeat the edges to make it look like that it covers the whole screen, even though it's just repeating some of the pixels to compensate for it. But that's just uh, one example. And l like the, uh, the motion and the resizing I showed you last week, you can also do keyframing as well. And again, a keyframe is just a change on your project file. So we could set the blurriness to zero. We could click toggle animation, which inserts a keyframe. We could go to about here and we could increase the blur. You can see I have two dots now on my mini timeline up here. And as I page forward or backward, you can see that the blur increases or decreases accordingly. And so there are, again, many different effects to play with here. We could come in here back to the folder. We could come down here, go to color correction. We could go to brightness and contrast. And you can see when I put that in, we now have controls for the brightness and contrast. And it's it all works very similar in the fact that you basically put something in and then you have these effects to play with. And so if you're looking for something specific, I would definitely look through all of these effects. There's probably something here for most things that are simple when you are working on your project. And again, if there's requests for it, I can do more specific tutorials on some of these later on. Also, if you're looking to add more effects, you can go to a website and download effects. Um, I don't really have a website that I go to for this kind of stuff. So I just did a quick Google search and 
here are some results I came up with. And again, I don't endorse any of these that are popping up here. I can't tell you if they're free or if they're paid or whatever, but you can definitely extend the plugins for Premiere. And you can do that by, of course, downloading the plugins. And then if you go to your file browser, you can see I'm in my Adobe folder, my Pr Premiere Pro CS6 folder, plugins, common. And you can see here I have all of the plugins available for my particular copy of Premiere. And so then you could just put your plugins in and you can then try them out and see if they work for you. But anyway, that's just a brief overview of video effects. If you're looking for more video tutorials, you can check out my website, IncredibleTutorials.com. I offer free tutorials on Flash, Anime Studio, Premiere, and more. If you're looking for more extensive courses on these particular subjects, you can check out IncrediblePhiles.com. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tutoring for Flash, Anime Studio, or even Premiere, you can check out IncredibleTutoring.com. I also offer free webinars every now and then, so you can join those as well. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys this week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.